different from the last sleeper bus I went on. Halfway, still got another half an hour to go. It was hands down the most horrific journey of my life. Because my last sleeper bus was really good when I was up in Sapa in Vietnam, I thought I would take the sleeper bus back to Thailand. Because I'd already done the slow boat, I didn't really want to do it again and the weather wasn't the best anyway. I'm not going to say any more. I'm just going to let you watch the video. I think my bus has arrived. Just waiting to walk down. It's pouring with rain still. <laughs> So I pay 7,500 and the ropey slip motorbike picks me up for a 10 minute ride. So my laptop, everything soaking and I've got to sit for 18 hours dripping wet. This is just turning out to be a nightmare. So literally that is what I turned up on and they've just dropped me, to be honest, at somebody's house. And now I'm stood here on my own <laughs> with all my worldly possessions in the boot of somebody's car. I suppose it could be worse. I could still be on the back of a bike. <laughs> this is getting more and more interesting by the moment. I'm now in the back of that car. So we're now going in the car to the bus station and it will take about 20 minutes. Well, that was a um, interesting transfer to the bus terminal. So I've just arrived here. The guy's gone to get me my ticket for the bus now. He's, he's given me a slip of paper for tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. So we leave here now, half past four, five o'clock, half past five, not really sure. The bus goes at different times every day evidently. We will go from here and arrive at the border town at 9am tomorrow where we will get off of this bus and transfer to another bus to cross the border and then we'll get on a third bus which will then take us on to Chiang Rai and we should arrive there sometime tomorrow say 10, 11 o'clock then I will find a room and just rest. 6pm has come 6 p.m. has gone <laughs> along with the bus I have no idea what is happening we'll have to just wait and see it looks like a bus has just turned up this might well be ours oh my word this is a bit different from the last sleeper bus I went on give me strength I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to cope <laughs> This is the bus I've just been on. Oh my gosh, I now know how a sardine feels in a tin. I am cold, I am wet, I am miserable, I ache. And that's just the good bits. We've now got to sit and wait here on this broken bench for two hours before we get picked up to go across the border. And then I think I'm not quite sure how long the bus ride is when we get to the other side. I am so over this. Now made it to like a very small mini bus car type deal. The lady had my photograph, but the guy, it seems like a lifetime ago now, took a photograph of me after the motorbike picked me up. So she had a copy of that. So she's now going to drive us to the border so that I can cross over back into Thailand. I just want to find a room, lay down and go to sleep. I am so tired. Oh my goodness. I am definitely not doing the long bus ride to Chiang Mai today. I'm staying in Chiang Rai and getting some rest. And guess what? It's still raining. Unbelievable. Officially, we have left Laos. We've had our passport stamped and now we're just waiting for the bus to pick us up to take us over the bridge 
to go back into and get a stamp in our passport to go back to Thailand. On the bus now, just about to cross the bridge into Thailand. I can't even speak, I am so tired. On bus number 329, <laughs> well that's what it feels like. I'm hoping that this is our last bus because I'm done. I just need a hotel room, a shower and sleep. Halfway, still got another half an hour to go, I'm exhausted. not even seven o'clock yet and I'm done light off time for sleep night night everybody so room update I checked out of the hostel I stayed in last night and I've moved two or three up the road literally a very short distance because this one was about 95 baht cheaper than the one I stayed in last night. And it's right in the same area on the night market. It's got a really nice rooftop terrace, which I am now stood on. Beautiful views. Um, everybody on reception seems really nice. And, a, and 95 baht is almost two meals. So I just thought, do you know what? I'm gonna move. I might stay here one night. I might stay here too, before moving back down to Chiang Mai. But I'm feeling so much better today than I was the last couple of days. The night bus was something else. It will be a long time before I decide on doing another one of those. I do really like it up on the rooftop. It is so nice up here. The only problem is the stairs to get up here are a little steep. <laughs> This is my new room, 201. It's a mixed berth and I've managed to grab a bottom bunk right in the corner. This one's me, at least for one night. I am glad that I've changed. They don't have privacy curtains, but I'm gonna put my laundry line up with my towel, just to give me a little bit of privacy. And they've got proper duvets rather than just thin blankets as well. This is me now all unpacked in my little pod, which is a bit nicer than just open. I've got my own little area coming to my abode. <laughs> and this is what it's like from the inside. I have a little hook to hang my bag. I have my washing line and I'll leave a link to this on my Amazon store down below. I have my Turkish towel. I have my Matador towel. I have another little hook with my cardigan, the towel that they provide and my scarf. I have my wash bag, my own cozy little pod <laughs> and all for 240 baht a night and I will put the conversion rate up here. Wow, look at that. That's the clock tower of Chang Rai. It's beautiful. I think it was made by the same person that designed the white temple. Look how beautiful that clock tower is. Yeah. We come down to the food court area and the market and I've got to myself a barbecue chicken and some corn on the cob.
I think it was... Why would you do that? <laughs>